Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's News. Everything I have for you guys today is kind of small, kind of small topics, but of course we do have the big topic, security breach state of play today. So, let's not waste any more time, of course you all know what I'm about to say. Double check, make sure you are subscribed. I think it's something dumb like 20 to 30% of the people who watch me are actually subscribed, so if you are not subscribed, or maybe you think you are, just double Double check. Also, hit the like button. Thanks. All right, let's hop into the news. Starting off with the brand new Fazbear Fright books, the Puppet Carver number nine. It released, I think, two days ago, and now it is officially out, as you can see. Also, do not forget that there is a exclusive cover to BAM Books A Million available again right now. If you want a summary of the entire book, including all three stories, including the epilogue, you don't gotta wait for Daco, because I made a video on my my own summarizing the whole books it's linked down below speaking of books let's take a look at the ultimate edition of the freddy files because it just got a cover as you can see the cover is blue which i actually like i i like that it changed up the background color i think it makes it stick out a bit more however that's kind of where my compliments end for the cover. I do think that the render of Bonnie from FNAF AR looks good. I just don't see why it is FNAF AR Bonnie. A quick reminder that this book includes Help Wanted, Curse of Dreadbearer, Fazbear Frights, and apparently now FNAF AR, even though it wasn't listed in the description of the book. And out of all the characters, you know, like Glitch Trap or Dreadbear, maybe like Grim Foxy into the Pit Spring Bonnie, or like Lonely Freddy, I don't know, some version of Freddy, they pick Bonnie from FNAF AR. I get it, it's the most recent game, but it's also not the most enticing of games. I think having Glitch Trap or Vanny or, you know, even if Security Breach isn't in it, which again, we still don't know if it's going to be in the book or not, or even Dreadbear would have been better than Bonnie from FNAF AR. But other than that, because I can kind of excuse that because at least they changed the cover image, the four images at the bottom are the exact same images on the cover for the updated edition. Which makes no sense in my mind, because if you are trying to appeal to people who are like, oh, I wonder what's, you know, new happening in FNAF. See, like, on the first cover, you had, uh, you know, FNAF 1, FNAF 1, FNAF 4. Updated edition, it threw in some FNAF 6 right there and right there. But then this new new one doesn't do anything different. Nothing from Help Wanted, Curse of Dreadbear, again, the Fazbear Fright books. It's just FNAF 6, which we've had in the past, and they have changed those four images in the past, so I don't know why they're not doing it now. Yeah, that was my rant on the cover for the Ultimate Edition. I'll still pick it up. I, I, I do want to see what they have to talk about with these new topics. It comes out sometime in December, so we do have a while to wait. Something that is happening right now, actually, is FNAF AR. Yesterday, Illumix made a tweet saying, are you enjoying your flight through Scream Punk with Aeronaut Toy Freddy? Of course, that being the second and previous skin in the Scream Punk event. With this new foray, you'll truly be up, up, and away. We were all kind of assuming, okay, maybe it's a Balloon Boy skin because, you know, balloons go up into the air, Balloon Boy. And also with Aeronaut being someone who again, pilots, drives, I don't know the correct terminology, a hot air balloon, we were thinking maybe hot air balloon boy. And then Alumix did something that, in my opinion, is hilarious. I know some people are upset that they did this on accident, but I think it's so goddamn funny. You know how when a new skin releases, they'll put out a picture saying, you know, so-and-so has been added into FNAF AR. Well, instead of setting their time for, an example, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard, they set it for 8 a.m. Eastern Standard on YouTube. And so this morning, we woke up to Jet Pack Balloon Boy, the Scream Punk skin for Balloon Boy coming into FNAF AR tonight. So yeah, there goes Illumix leaking their own content for their game tonight. A quick update on Pop Goes Evergreen, one of the games in the Fazbear Fanverse initiative. Kane tweeted out earlier this month saying, the server room is now done. That's six rooms finished out of ten, though the others have a lot of work done. But even then, the pizzeria technically isn't the only location in Pop Goes Evergreen. Green. And then, probably my favorite sentence Kane has ever said online, this shit's gonna take forever, but I'll be damned if it don't look bussin' respectfully. I can't tell if I appreciate Kane more 
since he's being hip and cool, or if I never want him to talk online ever again. So yeah, they're making steady progress on Pop Goes Evergreen. I believe Kane said that it probably won't release this year, which is understandable. You know, they want to take their time. It seems like it's a big game with a lot of work that needs to be done. And now some news I never expected. FNAF is getting more Funko products, however, I don't think it's what we were expecting. When you think of FNAF Funko, you probably think action figures, you know, plushies, sometimes pop vinyls. Well, it does seem like we're getting more pops, but again, in a strange way. Yesterday, a listing for Funko Something Wild Five Nights at Freddy's Rockstar Freddy product was found. If you don't know what Something Wild is, I don't blame you, I didn't know what it was either. Apparently, it's like a card game, but with Funko pop figures on them. I don't know either, but apparently FNAF is getting a Something Wilds product. It has a release date of December through January, so we do have a while to wait. I just don't really see what this is gonna do. <laughs> I mean, hopefully, best case scenario, this is hinting at new FNAF pops, but that could just not be the case, and it could be pops from previous waves. It's also interesting that they're doing it with Rockstar Freddy of all characters. But that's not the only thing. We also found a Pocket Pop FNAF 2021 Advent Calendar, which is like 80 bucks. It releases very soon, August through September, and it's gonna have 24 Pocket Pop vinyl figures for FNAF, which I think is super cool. As you can see, this is an example of what the Pocket Pops Advent Calendars look like. I'm guessing that this is for Christmas, you know, the holiday season, even though it is releasing in, again, August uh, slash September. So yeah, 80 bucks, oh boy, we have that to look forward to again next month. And now let's talk about the big topic for the video, Security Breach and PlayStation's brand new state of play later today. So if you missed the memo a couple days ago, PlayStation tweeted out a new state of play arrives this Thursday. Tune in for a death loop gameplay deep dive, plus lots of updates on indies and exciting third party games. It's also worth noting that the show is only 30 minutes long, so probably not a whole lot of content in this one, boys. So of course, people are getting excited. Probably a bit too excited. Several people, including me and Darko, have reached out to Steerwell, hoping that they're gonna say something. So far, they have not. The show starts in about a couple hours. 2 p.m. PT, 5 p.m. ET, and 10 p.m. CEST. So right now, it's still unclear whether or not FNAF is going to be in the new state of play. Of course, we are way overdue for a brand new look at Security Breach. The last proper look we got was all the way back in February with the gameplay trailer. And when you realize that Steel Wool missed out on the Summer Games Fest, maybe they're included in this one, but again, they haven't said anything. Honestly, I don't mind if it's not there. Of course, I would prefer if it was there and we got a brand new trailer. But in full honesty, I would just rather have Stu will say something. I get wanting to keep it a secret, but when you saw just how insane people went at Summer Games Fest, I want them to say something about the state of play before it happens. Even if it's like a huge, you know, like punch in the stomach and it's like, oops, sorry, we're not gonna be there. I don't mind. I would rather have that, but I will be streaming my reaction to the state of play over on my Twitch channel. It's linked down below. Go give it a follow, boys. If Steel will do say something, it probably won't be in this video because I'm about to wrap it up in a couple minutes. But if Security Breach is in the state of play, I will stream it here on YouTube. But for right now, it's going to be on Twitch. So that's going to be it. If anything, just keep your expectations low. I don't know about you guys, but I would rather have my expectations low than boost up super high when I see FNAF is in it and get super excited, have an amazing day, rather than, oh my gosh, I can't wait for this new Security Breach trailer, and then there's nothing in the state of play, and then I have a disappointing day. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, make sure you follow me on Twitch, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.